A child has no boundaries about what you put together, you know, in a story. There's no limitations, so you can fill it with whatever characters and, and madness and create the world from the bottom up. So it's only an adult who's going to say, how do you put a crocodile and tap dancing together? A kid's never going to say that. They're going to go, of course. You know, it's a tap dancing crocodile. <laughs> I love drawing all through primary school and secondary school, but I never quite thought you could make a career out of it. And I remember a, a guy in my class going, oh, I'd love to be an illustrator of picture books, you know, when I'm older. But all of us sort of looked at him and went, yeah, but that's impossible. That's not going to happen because nobody does that. <laughs> but I find myself living that life. So I think when you're trying to imagine something that a child would enjoy, it's just a lot of it is dropping away those boundaries that we give ourselves as adults. And it needs to look like you're still a child. It needs to feel like you're still a child, that you can think like one. But the craft involved in editing something down to a small piece of writing, making it interesting, drawing pictures that'll grab kids' attention, that is a hard-ass, hard-earned skill. And heaps of people give up on the way because that's that skill takes quite a long time to hone. I don't think I think about it intentionally. I think you just give it a bash. I have to be comfortable with failing before I start something, otherwise I'd never start it. And that can be really intimidating because it can put you off starting, but you just have to keep going. And now I know that of myself. You know, when people talk about the process, it is that you've got to be prepared to start, to see how it goes and throw it away if you're sure it's not going anywhere and not call it wasted time. <laughs>